check this. Oh, there's even a smaller one. Oh, really? Check this. Okay. Work. And stay in the sun, buddy. Still is a proud papa. Well, they were put up two years ago, uh, right around Easter, I believe. Uh, so, so it was a bit late for 2008. We checked them again last year in 2009, and there was no occupants. But this year, we had a sawed owl in, in one of them, and uh, that's the, probably the commonest species of owl that might nest in in these boxes. We might get flymulated owls or screech owls as well, uh, but. Other than squirrels, sawwood owls are probably what would use them. And what did we find today in the box? Well, there was uh, an adult female owl brooding seven young, which is the most uh, young sawwits ever have. Uh, there, there were seven eggs in there a month ago, and so it's nice to see they all hatched. It's kind of unlikely, I must admit, that they'll all survive. They, the youngest one today is, was quite small. Uh, these owls hatch at two-day intervals because they're laid. The eggs are laid at two-day intervals, and they start incubating as soon as they, uh, as soon as they lay them. And so the oldest young always gets the first crack at a mouse that's brought in. And so the youngest one uh, often has a tough time getting enough to really grow properly, and and often doesn't make it. But it's a good insurance. For the birds, if there are lots of mice, then they can raise lots of young. Yeah, we banded the young. Uh, we, I, I try to do that with all the saw wet nests I find. And you have to band a lot of young to get results because uh, most of these birds die in, or are encountered in very out of the way places, and uh, we just don't get band reports very often. But there's an increasing number of. Um, migration monitoring stations that are banding sawwets as they migrate south. The young and females often move a bit south in the winter. So who knows? I, I've banded well over a hundred sawwets in my life and I still have yet to get a, a return other than the ones that I find again the next year coming back to their same territories. But uh, for young birds I, I haven't had a return yet. But there's lots of, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds are banded every year at these other stations. So we might get an encounter and find out where it one of these spent the winter.